Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate creatinine clearance using the Kokov gold equation. I'll show you which weight to use, when to use ideal body weight, actual body weight versus adjusted body weight. Okay, let's get started. Let's look at the Kokov gold equation for males versus females. So the equation for males to calculate the creatinine clearance is 140 minus the patient's age in years times weight in kilogram over 72 times the serum creatinine. For female, the, the equation is 140 minus patient's age in years times the weight in kilogram divided by 72 times serum creatinine and the difference is you times multiply this whole thing by 0 0.85. So the an easy way to remember it for female is the same exact equation as the male but just remember to do multiply by 0 0.85 for the females. Now looking at the equations where you might get confused a little bit um, when it says weight in kilogram that's where it gets confusing which weight to use do you use the actual body weight that is given to you in the problem do you use the ideal body weight do you use the adjusted body weight so we'll look at each of them um, in the next slide and i'll explain in further detail when it comes to which weight to use in the equation, in general, we use ideal body weight. However, if the patient is obese, meaning that their actual body weight is greater than 30% over their ideal body weight, then you use the adjusted body weight. If their actual body weight is less than their ideal body weight, then you use the actual body weight in the equation. So now I'll show you the equation to calculate the ideal body weight. How do you determine if a patient is obese, meaning how do you determine if the actual body weight is greater than 30% of the ideal over the ideal body weight? And then what is the equation to calculate the adjusted body weight? And then use it in the kokov gold equation to calculate the creatinine clearance. The equation for ideal body weight is different for males and for females. So when you're doing a problem, when you're solving a problem, you have to make sure you pay attention if the patient is a male or a female because the equation will be different. So for males, ideal body weight is 50 kilogram plus 2.3 kilograms for each inch height over five feet so for example if a patient is five feet three inches then it'll be ideal body weight equal 50 plus 2.3 times three because it's five feet three inches each inch over five feet for females the equation is ideal body weight equal 45.5 kilograms plus 2.3 kilograms for each height, each inch height over five feet. So same thing here. Let's say the patient is 5'4", then uh, the equation will be ideal body weight equal 45.5 plus 2.3 times four. Okay. Now, and so ideal body weight is usually what we use in the cock of gold equation remember except if the patient is obese then you use the adjusted body weight now what is the formula for the adjusted body weight the adjusted body weight is 0 0.4 times actual body weight minus the ideal body weight plus the ideal body weight okay and then in some cases like i mentioned before if the actual body weight is actually less than the ideal body weight then in those cases you would use the actual body weight 
Let's look at a practice problem together. Calculate the creatinine clearance for a 62-year-old female patient who is 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing 70 kilograms with a serum creatinine of 1.8. So, we'll use the Kokoff and Gold equation, which is 140 minus the age times the weight divided by 72 times serum creatinine. And then we have to remember it's a female patient, so we have to remember the times 0.85 at the end. Now, the weight, which weight do you use? Remember, in general, in general, it's ideal body weight. Um, if the patient is obese, you use the adjusted body weight. Here, just looking at the patient's weight, you can kind of tell that the patient is not obese. So you can calculate the ideal body weight. Um, again, it is a female patient, so the ideal body weight, remember, it is different for male and female. So for a female, the ideal body weight equation is 45.5 plus 2.3 times 6, 6 inches. Okay, so your ideal body weight is 59.3 kilograms. Now, as I was saying before, so in, in this case, the patient weighs 70 kilograms. So you can tell that this is not obese. But if you want to always be sure that the patient is not obese, um, and to be sure that you're not supposed to be using the adjusted body weight, or if you're supposed to be using the adjusted body weight, you can always calculate and see if the actual body weight is greater than 30% over the ideal body weight. So here, the ideal body weight is 59.3. The patient's actual body weight is 70 kilograms the actual body weight is greater than the ideal body weight. So we know for sure we're not going to use actual body weight because it is greater um, than the ideal body weight. But now, is the patient obese? Is the actual body weight greater than 30% over the ideal body weight? I don't think so, but we can confirm. So if we use the actual body weight, 70, divided by 59.3 so 70 is the actual body weight divided by 59.3 which is the ideal body weight times 100 that gives you 118 percent so that means the actual body weight is 118 percent of the ideal body weight or in other words we can say the actual body weight is 18 percent over the ideal body weight so that means it's not quite at 30 percent yet uh, it's not quite at 30 percent so that means the patient is not obese so that means we do not use the adjusted body weight in that case so what do you use you use the ideal body weight so then in that equation to calculate the creatinine clearance when it comes to the weight you'll plug in the ideal body weight does that make sense let me know if that makes sense um, in the comments below. If you have any additional questions, um, please feel free to ask me questions in the comment. I'll answer your, um, your questions, um, comments, and all of that. Okay, so we'll look at another example. If you've made it this far into the video, I'm assuming this is because you like what you're hearing. So let's just take a moment to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded video. Okay, let's look at our last example. So for the second problem, we'll use the same exact, exact problem from um from previously but here the only difference is the patient's weight is instead 200 pounds okay so it's the same question um you're being asked to calculate the creatinine clearance okay so we have the patient's age which is um 62 the weight is 200 pounds Remember, in the equation, weight has to be in kilogram. So you have to convert 200 pounds to kilogram. Okay, so divided by 2.2, and that gives you 90.9 kilogram. 
the patient's height is five feet um, six inches okay so same same thing we already calculated um, we already calculated the ideal body weight um, and we found that it was 59.3 okay so in this case you have and you know the actual body weight is 90.9 kilogram so in this case is this patient obese looks like it but again if you want to be sure you can calculate um, to check if the actual body weight is greater than 30 percent of the ideal body weight so let's confirm 90.9 divided by 59.3 times 100 percent gives you 153 percent so in this case the actual body weight is 150 percent of the ideal body weight so 53 percent over so that means it's greater than 30 percent over so the patient is obese so when patient is obese which formula do we use um which weight do we use we use the adjusted body weight so now that means you have to calculate the adjusted body weight using the equation that I um, talked about previously, which is 0 0.4 times the actual body weight, which is 90.9 minus the ideal body weight, 59.3 plus the ideal body weight, 59.3. So the adjusted body weight is 71.94 kilogram. So now you're ready to calculate the creatinine clearance when calculating the creatinine clearance in this case for the weight part you'll use the adjusted body weight so you'll use 71.94 in this equation so as you can see um, for a recap of everything we've talked about it's the same equation remember for female you have to add the time 0 0.85 the difference is for the weight um, the weight could either be ideal body weight um, in a lot of cases and then if the patient is obese you use the adjusted body weight so you have to calculate the adjusted body weight if the patient is obese meaning if their actual body weight is greater than 30 percent over the ideal body weight then you have to calculate the adjusted body weight and use that in the equation to calculate the creatinine clearance and then in some cases if the actual body weight is actually less than the ideal body weight then you'll use the actual body weight Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.